Ooh! I loved that. Oh my god. What's up, fellow K-pop fans? Oh my god, my fellow onces, I'm so excited! A new Twice song just came out-ish, kind of, earlier this morning. I'm excited to check it out, you guys! And I think this might be like a sexy concept, because I saw a picture and I was like, whoa, this might be a sexy thing. So, I'm excited for that. Whoever hung out with us yesterday, me and Maggie, on our live stream over on Twitch, you guys, it was so much fun hanging out with you yesterday. And check it out, man, for those of you who weren't there, Look at what our patrons sent us, you guys. Look what it says. Number one K-pop reactor. I feel like Michael Scott from The Office. World's best boss. And then look what they sent Maggie. I'm not as thrilled about this one, but she seems to like it. Hashtag <laughs> Team Maggie. <laughs> Isn't that really sweet, though, you guys? I'm so happy about that. And then I can sip this, and it won't look like I'm full of myself at all. Speaking of streams, you guys, I want to stream this album. I'm going to. I'm thinking tomorrow after I get out of work, so like 4.30 or 4 o'clock. In order to check in to see what time it is, you guys, we'll post it on Twitter and we'll post it in the community as well. So make sure that you're subscribed and that you're following us on Twitter so you can get updates on when that live first listen is going to be. It'll be over on our Twitch. That link's down in the description too. And I'm, I'm trying to like brainstorm what I could do for this because you guys, Twice is coming. Twice is coming here. They're coming to New Jersey, which is like a three a three hour drive for me. So it's close enough. I want to see them so bad. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do a live stream to try to raise money so I can go see them. I figure it, I'm doing something in order to raise the money so I can go. But as of right now, I definitely don't have the money to go and I want to go so bad. Like it would be amazing to see them. If you guys have any ideas for a live stream, like I was thinking maybe I could do an all twice stream, like, and all the dreamer onces could come. And if, if you could or want to, you could donate money or whatever and participate in the stream. But if you guys think that was, would be a cool idea, let me know. I'm not asking for a handout or anything. Just like maybe we can do some kind of event, probably a live stream I would say uh, to raise money so we can go see them and but yeah if you guys have any ideas for that let me know down in the comments and hit subscribe and we're gonna get right into this let's dive in the twice as brand new song called fancy and damn sure they really are fancy girls right now oh wow that's a different sound for them. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at Momo. Red color of the sun like your cheeks. Cool, that was an awesome sample. New style for, for Twice, man. This is cool. That's cool. Oh, cute. I love you. Che Young looks like a badass, man. Ooh! Whoa. I love Ch uh, Che Young's hair like that, man. Ooh. Oh my god I love that they still have that cuteness in this song because twice is just they have that cuteness to them So I'm really glad even though this is kind of more of a sexy concept that they still have that cuteness in there Yeah. 
Ooh! I loved that. Oh my god. That bass sounds sexy. <laughs> Cute. Oh, that's a cool melody line on the synth. Do -do 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 -do. Oh my god. Che Young's killing me in this. Oh my god, man. Wow. Interesting, man. I, w I wonder if the rest of the album is going to sound like that. I bet we'll have Che Young in our thumbnail too. Uh, Gino's got, he's got uh, Che Young in his. Shout out to Gino. Seems like a nice guy. I don't know him personally, but he seems like a cool guy. But anyways, Che Young was perfect in this. You know, I think it really fits her style because Che Young definitely has a little bit of like this badassness to her, but she's obviously adorable as well. But we've seen that since 16. She had a very powerful, just very strong attitude. I feel like she is so comfortable in that kind of element because I feel like she really likes that a lot. Um, there were some cool things in here that we don't normally hear in toy songs. It has it has a, a strong EDM vibe to me, but then they still kept that very candy pop cuteness in there as well. Not so much for the verses or the rap parts, because those were a little bit more badass, which was cool. For the chorus and the pre-chorus, they had that, that cuteness in there. You know, Sana's going to bring that cute factor no matter what, I feel. As far as instrumentation wise or mixing wise, I'll, I'll tell you guys. First of all, that synth has a really cool expression on it. Like the longer it gets held down, it seems like it automatically opens up or it, they could be riding the expression on the mod wheel on their synth. Either way, it sounds really cool. I love the fact that it opens up. Here, how it opens up right there. It's cool. I feel like Mina's vocal really fits this really well, too. She's got that soft sexiness to the tone of her vocal, like always. And I, I really have always liked that. And, and for some reason, I think it just has a nice... It, it fits really nicely into like a sexy, dancey uh, genre. Wow. Also, that bend is pretty friggin' insane. That's that ballerina in her. I love that. You know how it opens up that synth? And like the lower part of it sounds like a closed mouth and it opens up the expression as it goes up. It's, it's really cool. Goes up in pitch, sorry. Then it sana just throws into cuteness. But another technique that I wanted to talk about that I've talked about before, it's called ducking. You, you can do it by side chaining with a compression. So what happens is it, it, most commonly this is used in EDM with a kick drum and either something uh, that gets triggered by that kick drum, whether it's the bass line or a, a specific synth of some sort, or you can do multiple instruments, but usually it's... Sometimes it's multiple instruments, yeah, I'll say that. Basically what happens is it's a trigger effect, so every time the kick drum hits, it pumps the volume. That's what gives that bounciness that you hear in so, like anything a DJ makes in the chorus, you're gonna hear that ducking effect, which I believe they do do. <laughs> There's some really nice, uh, really nice compression on the kick drum too here. I love that part of the choreo. So cool that glitch effect. Um, but, and Taekyung looks gorgeous too. Oh my god. Oh, 
I love Che Young's outfit. I love that outfit right there. Um, but I want to get to where I was hearing that ducking. So it seems like it's happening a little bit in the chorus here. Not as much as I originally thought when I was first listening through, honestly. Um, but there is a really nice compression. It's so cute. Really nice compression on that kick drum. It sounds gorgeous, man. That's a cool synth, too. Man, that synth goes on forever. Cool choreography right there with the synth. That is cool, man. I really enjoyed it, honestly. It's kind of nice. I love the the style of Twice. It just makes me happy. Their genre. You know, they've, they've dabbled in, in different genres here and there, kind of, in different styles, but mainly they have a Twice sound, and this is very different for them. It's nice hearing it. I like it. I thought it was cool. I don't think, as of right now, I don't think the chorus is as catchy as so many of their other songs, but I still really like the song a lot. And like I said, I think um, Che Young and Mina really stood out for me in this song a lot. Guys, let me know down in the comments how you feel about the song. Do you like the different sound from Twice that we're getting here? And also, don't forget to leave me some ideas for like a live stream or something like that and uh don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already thank you dreamers dreamers keep on dreaming we'll see you in the next video and until then on yo